Well, it's a question most of us are asking uh, almost daily. When will gas prices go back down? Well, this morning we're taking a 360 in-depth look at oil prices and how that's translating to our prices at the gas pump before oil executives testify before Congress today and if releasing any of the U.S. strategic stockpile will make a difference. So first, let's look at oil. Friday will mark one month since oil shot up to almost $124 a barrel. It has dropped back to about $100 a barrel for the last week, but the average price of gasoline in Colorado has only dropped two cents over the last week. Meanwhile, today, executives from six of the largest oil companies have agreed to testify before a key congressional panel about the rising cost of gasoline, but industry experts say the oil industry has the same problem many companies have right now, and that's supply chain. They may get grilled on why U.S. oil production isn't going up, but I think a lot of the answers are, are going to be very similar to things we're hearing in other sectors of the economy. That is, we're encountering significant labor challenges and headwinds, uh, steel shortages. Um, th there's just a lot of supply chain disruptions that are affecting oil companies' abilities to raise production in a meaningful way. So Colorado Representative Diana DeGette chairs the House Subcommittee on Energy and Commerce and says Americans across the country are suffering from the skyrocketing cost of gasoline, while some of the nation's largest oil companies are reporting record high profits. We will not sit back and allow the fossil fuel industry to take advantage of the American people and gouge them at the pump. Experts, though, point out Congress doesn't complain about other industries making profits. Oil companies have been posting 10 to $20 billion quarterly gains. Their margins or their profit margin is only about 10 or 15 percent uh, on, on a good day. You compare that to the tech industry where Apple is making upwards of 40 percent margin. What are we really going after? Is it the percentage of profit being made or is it the amount of money? Hmm. As for the oil releases that President Biden is promising, for some context there, a million barrels a day can help the supply chain, but the European Union is considering whether to stop buying oil from Russia, and that would mean a loss of more than 4 million barrels a day on the global market scale.